All right, guys, this is where we're at so far. As you can see, put a little base. We got the back. This is all. This is all screwed in. We got the four cylinders here. You can tell what they are. That's the good old tomato and basil. So that's there. I made a template for the top for the injectors, as you can see. Uh, here's the fuel rail. Just uh, goes in there like that. Nothing special. See? Now it looks like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, drilled out the top plate. This guy goes in here. It's alright. Yeah. See? Nice and tight. Those guys get lined up there. And then from here, got my little washers. Nothing special, just fender washers. Well, there's A or B if you go to Home Depot. <clears throat> Here's my fuel rail from an SVO. That goes on there like that. Gotta line these guys up in here. No big deal. What a bing. Look at that. Tomato and basil. So I think this looks like a fuel bench to me. Looks pretty damn good. So that's where we're at. <clears throat> I also have these uh these little spacers for, for those injectors that aren't fat, the thin ones, the Simons looking ones, the DECA. So, that's that. As you can see, you'll be able to see the spray in there. I'm not going to bolt this down just in case I finally get graduated cylinders. I can just uh, pump this up, lift it up a little bit higher, and it'll look really professional with uh, graduated cylinders. So. I think that's all there is to this. It's just plumb in the fuel system now. It should be simple, very simple. And uh, get a little battery to wire these guys. I've got the uh, harness here for it, all the pigtails and stuff. I'm <clears throat> just gonna put it on a 12 volt relay with a flip switch. But aside from that, that looks good. <clears throat> Alright, check back later.